Listen up, shakers. Here at the Handshaking Video Series, we're all about creating strong and supportive communities for entrepreneurs. A rising tide lifts all boats, so let's all win here. Here's the best advice for free. Shakers, we're back here with Phil Sanderson. Um, Phil, we were just talking about how sometimes you guys will make an investment based solely on the team and how they function together. What are the top three tips you'd have for an entrepreneur looking to build a team? Well, there's there's really two parts of that, how you build a team and how you communicate that team to a venture investor as you, as you raise money. Um, as you build a team, find people that you can work closely with. It's more important to have the right culture rather than getting a bunch of star players. You want to find people who have experience in the given category. I always say one of the main jobs or the main job of a CEO is to provide a vision, lead your team, recruit and bring out 100% of each one of your management team members because so many of them are incredibly talented but like most people, they operate at a certain level. If you're a great leader, you can bring them to 100% of their potential. And that's the key. It's not just hiring great people. It's making them work well individually and work well together as a team. Absolutely. And now once, once the CEO is able to you know, find and nurture that skill to build their team, now what's the best way to communicate that to a venture capitalist? Right. I, I find um, about a third of the pitches that I hear, and I've heard probably 20,000 pitches in my career, um, Entrepreneurs don't necessarily give their entire backgrounds or really tout their, their own work. You've got a very short amount of time to get across what you've done. What we like to hear is um, what you've done in your career. Don't just say, I started a company, then I sold it, then I went to another company. Tell me what you learned, how much money you made, if you're able to, um, and what your real talents are. So much of our business is about managing in the team. We want that to be first and foremost in a presentation. I would have that as the first slide typically and show as a CEO what you've done, what you've accomplished, what you've learned, and the rest of your team, and then go on from there. Well, that's a pro tip, Shakers. Um, consider, consider talking about the background. Be as transparent as possible and uh, make sure it's relevant to who you're pitching to. That's a, that's a great tip to kind of start with that and not be broad, but dig in deep and communicate it fast. Mm -hmm.